Alright, so this is my third time through this cycle and I figured I would post a video about it because I cannot be the only person having this problem. I got the DDJ400 connected to my brand new MacBook Pro 2019. Uh, the one with six cores, not the eight, eight core one. And I cannot get past playing the first song on Rekordbox. It opens, but after it opens, it just freezes. It freezes every time. And now I didn't have an issue on my older uh, laptop that I just upgraded from. So let's see if it does it now. This is a live walkthrough. I got my hard drive connected. Virtual DJ works fine. Uh, Serato Lite works fine. Just record box. All right, these are, these are some old songs. Let me see if anything loads. Loaded, nothing loads. And then there we go. Now I'm froze out on the controller. Uh, I still got control. You see, there we go. They go to the spinning wheel again. Can you see that? So this is the fourth time going through this. Um, yesterday I was I was able to download Recordbox and get it set up. I logged in and I started. Uh, you know, just loading my tracks in to Rekordbox. I was able to load them in the virtual DJ fine, load them into Serato Lite fine. Uh, I got the DDJ400 and the DDJ SB3. SB3 has been fine, and especially with virtual DJ. Virtual DJ has been awesome. It works right away. I can actually read the music from my hard drive, external hard drive, without dumping the music over. But I don't know what to do now. I'm stuck. I can force quit. Now, uh, let's see. Okay, there we go. So the song finally loaded. <laughs> Alright. And live settings. But here we go, it's back again. But now I can control the track. <laughs> Other than that, I can't do anything else. I don't have control of the browser knob. Don't have control of anything. Now, I do have one variable. I have, and I'm just thinking about this out loud. I got the little fan under here, and that's jump through the system. So let's run through it and redo it. I'm not sure it's still not gonna link right in. So let's try to close. Let's do a force close, force quit on record box, force quit. Now I'm scared to reopen it right back up because every time I've done that, it just, so let's do a restart. Quick restart, and then I'm gonna load record box back up without the middleman, that, that piece that allows me to reconnect the USB. And this happened last time. It's taken forever for it to reset. I'm gonna wait, I'm gonna give it a minute because it the, the MacBook hasn't had any issues like this until I tried to use Rekordbox. So I don't know if it's an issue with Rekordbox and this version of the Mac OS that I'm unaware of. So I'm gonna have to do some research on that, but right now I'm puzzled. Um, because the, this device has been operating without a hiccup. So I'm gonna give it a few more, a few more ticks and I'm gonna just force, uh, force a reset. Because all I have hooked up is, <clears throat> I got the dongle going to the external hard drive and I got uh, the DDJ400 connected. I got rid of the, um, the piece in the middle that's connecting the fan just to keep this thing cool because it gets hot sometime when I'm working on uh, in Premiere. But by now this thing should have been reset and I'm sure there's something wrong with Rekordbox that's causing it. So I'm gonna just force it to shut down. And then it's gonna restart, let's give it a few seconds. It's gonna restart and say, um, 
you, you shut down for a problem, do I want to reopen up the application? And I'm not going to do that. All right, so let's get it fired back up. Coming back online. Probably just fast forward through some of this. <clears throat> now we're going to do a test. <clears throat> I'm going to restart the computer without ever opening up record box just to show you how fast the computer usually resets on its own. So let's log, get us logged in. There we go. No, I don't want to open that. So now we're set to go. So now if I go foul, I mean, if I go um, restart, I'm back in just that quick. So I know it has nothing to do with this device. There's something with the software that's that's not right. But uh, like I said, we got rid of this middle piece. Now we're gonna re-log back in and we are going to test it without the middle piece. And then this is how I know for sure it's something wrong with record box. And if you got any insight, let me know in the comments, please. Um, because I can use virtual DJ for both, but I haven't had the chance to really get in the record box. I bought a new laptop, upgraded my hardware because uh, my other laptop, it was just having an issue running record box. Anything I tried to do with just, the computer would just lag. So, um, let's go and open it back up. All right, so now I got full control of browser now, slow the track. right back now we did say something that but I don't, I don't I, it came up with some note at the beginning but I'm sure that's not causing this to just shut down because this is this is unacceptable to me I, I shouldn't have to do anything more than what I've already done so let me see here we go different toilet same so now I'm gonna I'm gonna hook up the SB3 and I'm gonna connect that to, you know what? I'm gonna show you how, how good um, Virtual DJ runs. If I can get out of this now. So, to a new desktop. And then let's go, we're gonna force quit here. Force quit. I don't even think it forced it to quit. Okay, close. All right, so let's open up Virtual DJ. <clears throat> okay, so we're almost back up and running. And now I'm gonna go right into Virtual DJ. No, I don't wanna reopen anything that caused the problems that we had. So Virtual DJ, boom, opens right away. DJ work. That's that's what I'm trying to get across. And it and it's working. It's not froze. I can use the browser knob. I can go into anything that's on my uh, hard drive without a problem and it just works. Say oops, up, side your head, say oops, side your head, say oops, up. It works, but I'm afraid to open up record box. I'm afraid to, uh, let's see. 
Serato. See what Serato DJ Light does. Let's see if that plays nice. Opens right up. Just reading some of the music I dumped in yesterday. Um, so let's swap out to the SP3. SB3 plugs right into Serato Light. It works. No problem. Pad scratch works. Pad. Pad scratch works. Effects fade works. So everything that will work with the SB3 and Serato Light, I'm not having an issue with that. So it just seems to be record box. Um, I'm sure the SB3, it shouldn't work in record box if the 400 is not gonna work in record box. So that closed, no problem. So I was able to open Virtual DJ 8 um, with, I was, able to, I was able to open up Virtual DJ 8 with this controller connected with no problem with the, with the DDJ 400, no problem. Um, SB3, of course, it works with Serato Light because that's what it comes with. Now, Virtual DJ8 opens right back up again. Boom. So, let's configure. Let's make sure we're going to get someone out. Oh, I got to reset it. It's set up how to play sound out of. So that works right out the gate. Virtual DJ, <clears throat> Virtual DJ 8 seems to be the easiest thing to run for me. Uh, of course, I have the I have the license key for Virtual DJ 8 and the DDJ SB3. So that's I'm, I'm assuming that's why that seamlessly works. But my big gripe and big concern is record box connected to the DDJ 400 on this new MacBook, and it's not working. So, um, so I just wanted to run through everything and show you that uh, Virtual DJ 8 works, Serato works, Serato Lite works, Record Box is just not working. So I'm gonna try it one more time because I showed you that the SB3 works fine with both. I, I think I might get the full license for Serato again just to have it and to be in the mix with it, but I'm gonna have to lock in with one, and it's seeming like Virtual DJ, because that might give me the ability to just seamlessly go back and forth. And again, I might have to get the uh, the record key, I mean, uh, I might have to get the key, the software key for it, for a record, I mean, for uh, for the DDJ 400, but that's fine, I'll get it, if it'll allow me to go back and forth, you know, without problems. So let's get the DDJ 400 back connected. That connected. Virtual DJ 8 opens up. Just realizing I have um, the 400 connected, it's giving me 30 day trial demo, which is pretty cool. And it works. <clears throat> of course, I have to go back in and reset it up for these speakers, but I won't waste my time doing that. So now let's just see. Now let's close it out. And let's try to open record box. Get my fingers crossed. Opens, no problem. I 
all that set up. Like here's my hard drive here. And when I just go to connect on that, it just locked up. Alright, okay, there we go. Reading tracks. So this is what was dumped in. Let me see if I can load some. So now I have control of the browser now, which is cool. Freezes up. So I don't know what to do. Uh, if somebody can give me some help, I would appreciate it because I'm struggling to figure out why record box is not working on my new laptop. Um, and then stay tuned too. I'm gonna do, cause I'm all in with Apple now. I went, we got the MacBook Pro. I went and got the iPhone Max. So I'm gonna I'm tell you why I switched from uh, more of a Windows, Android setup to an all Apple setup. Um, I, think, I think it's going to be an interesting video, but just stay tuned for that. But in the meantime, I'm going to be trying to figure out why this doesn't work or what I can do to just make it work better for me. So if that's just using Virtual DJ 8 or just getting Serato and paying the money. No, it's like $129 for Serato. I might just get the full version of Serato, get that set up how I want it, and be able to just go back and forth with the two controllers. But... um Appreciate you checking out the video. If you got any insight for me, any suggestions, please, please drop them in the comments below. But as of now, Record Box is not working on my MacBook Pro 2019 version. Six cores, um, i7. I don't know what it, it can't be the device though, because we went through that. I, I, I showed what happens when the device is running without ever opening up Record Box. It's running smooth. When record box opens, just just shuts down everything. Like I haven't seen this, this spinning wheel, I haven't seen this the whole time I've had this laptop. Not once. I mean, maybe once, but not for an extended period of time, maybe a quick second. But then with the beauty of this, I can just go in, I got the desktop back up and I'm not locked in. <coughs> so, let's try to force quit again. Alright, that's it. I'm stumped. Appreciate it.